We, we got, got results! <laughs> okay, so the calves that we got, the the sire or the bull is an A2, A2 bull. Um, the mom is only an A1, but given that we have a good chance that they are either carriers of the A2 gene or they are actual presenters of the gene, which would mean basically they would have a 100% chance if bred with an A2 heifer or cow that they're going to drop an A2 baby that will, if it is a heifer, present the milk that we want. So basically what they do is they take, the company that we're using is called Neogen and they will test the hairs from the calves. So you take the tail hairs, you can't cut them, you have to actually pull off um, a good clump of hairs from the end of their tail. Um, and the reason why you can't cut it off, you have to pull it off, is because the um, actual DNA is at the ends of the hairs where it comes, in from, comes out of the skin. So we're gonna send in these hairs and they're gonna test them. So basically, the company has many options as far as what you can test. What we are doing here is they've got Dairy Milk Proteins, Dairy Milk Proteins Plus, and basically there's other proteins in the milk that you're gonna be looking for as far as if you're just doing milk or if you're doing cheese. But we are looking for the Dairy Milk Proteins to test for the A2 beta caseins. And they actually changed it now. They're actually also offering testing for kappa caseins, which basically, uh, if the cow is a carrier of uh, the kappa caseins, then they yield their milk yields more cheese. So, if they are if they are not only A2 but also a carrier of the kappa casein, then that would be a bonus. So, hopefully, we get some good news and. Hopefully, at least one of these calves is uh, an A2A2, and we'll be good to go. So some of you might be wondering, what is this crazy lady talking about? A1, A2, protein, caseins. So let me break it down for you. So milk is made up of waters and solids. You've got your lactose, which is your milk sugars. You've got fat, minerals, and protein. Now there are two different types of protein in milk, um, and that is your whey and your casein. So there are two different types of beta caseins, and that is A1 and A2. Now A1, um, usually is what you'll find in uh, grocery stores and that's it'll have like a slight combination of A1 and A2 um, because quite often they don't test for that but the biggest difference is that there is uh, a different amino acid present from what I'm understanding in the A2 that essentially makes it easier for our bodies to digest um, and so like people it's supposed to be better for you it's supposed to be better for your gut um, I've also read where it's even possible for people who are lactose intolerant, they might be able to drink it, or people who have Crohn's disease, it can help them in digesting their milk. So it, Davis has, he's kind of developed a lactose intolerance, he's not quite there, but he does have a difficulty drinking milk and things like that, so this is going to be something that's going to help him down the road with uh, drinking milk and enjoying his ice cream that he loves to have. <laughs> Okay, all right, so here we are. We got the email about the results. Okay, so let's see here. Oh my goodness! Axel's A2A2! So, Brutus is A1A2, Axel is A2A2. Ah, freaking A2A2! And then Kappa 
teachings. I gotta figure out how to read that, what that means. But I will be doing some research on that. So this is wonderful news. Um, so we we have our our A two A two bowl.